All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. <clears throat> I hope you hear me very good. Shalom, everybody. Uh, today, our topic will be about uh, this uh, video here made by uh, the Abduls about the amazing Quran. And because we know that YouTube will not, uh, you know, uh, will not keep this video here for long. Uh, therefore, uh, I'm going to play the refutation or the debunk only in Rumble. So we have the link there for you if you care to join us. If you are a person who is stuck only to YouTube, well, it's up to you. Uh, you know, we know that if we go live in YouTube playing all this video, they will flag it and they will take it down. And we know the excuse, you know, they will say copyright, even though you have the right, you know, by copyright law to, to criticize and to play a video of somebody. But we know the game in YouTube, how it is. And you know that YouTube always side with them. So we will be live uh, very soon in Ramble. I have the link for you in the chat. And we have the link in the info of the video. Or what you need to do, just a click in it. And just to let you know, Ramble is different from YouTube. So you will see like a screen keep it playing non-stop, you know. Uh, uh, when when the when the life started, uh, you will notice that. However, in case you have a problem, uh, you can click at the play and then the video will play, or refresh your page and click play. Uh, YouTube design is different from Ramble design. Uh, the time a Ramble shows down under the video, if you scroll down. It shows you when we will start. YouTube, the time shows in the top of it right away. Am I heard? Is my voice coming good? All right. Okay. Well, some people are saying they are stuck in YouTube. We're stuck as you wish. For us, what is important is is to make our point in which platform it doesn't matter really uh, as long people they can learn and they can uh, you know get the education and the correct answer and debunking the lies this is what we care for otherwise where it doesn't really doesn't matter so again the link is down it's uh, it's in the info and it is in the message in the pin message when you enter the chat uh, just to click on it if you like to come. And I know most of people like YouTube more, uh, but for me, if 10 people learning and they copy the video, that will do the job. Uh, you will write a comment, show us the debunked argument. So what we are talking about? I don't know. You show you we did not start yet. I mean, I don't know what people this will talk about. Show us the debunked. We will be in a ramble soon, and we will play his video, and we will answer everything he said. In fact, what he said is he himself is going to debunk the silly so-called miracle of the Quran. And you will see how Muslims, you know. They have no dignity when they try to explain the religion. Will you be in Discord? Uh, you know, Discord is just to take calls. If we will not take calls, there is no need for Discord. You know, if I'm going to refute this only, the guy is talking. So we have a Muslim Abdul already to refute him. And therefore, there is no need for Discord unless we decide later after we finish, if we finish early, to say, okay, if any Muslim want to call us, you know, he can call me in Discord. All right. Uh, please talk about Armenian genocide tomorrow, April 24th. My friend, <clears throat> talking about Armenian genocide will not fix it. Doing something about it will fix it. So if you're an Armenian, go and teach your people not to be stupid and not to trust Putin to protect them. You Armenian, you fail miserably. You don't have even an army. You don't even have weapon. 
when people they blame others for their crimes this is their foolishness you know they are criminals those Turkish are criminals so do you blame the criminals for what they did to you and what they will do to you in the future and what they did to you a few months ago they will keep doing this until they finish every single one of you but you are a stupid all of you Armenian I mean everybody in the world have a drones Armenian don't they don't <laughs> Armenians supposedly are a smart people so what happened to them most of the weapon of the Soviet Union is made by Armenian so you can make weapon to the Russian but you cannot make weapon for yourself you are a self-defeated nation you are surrounded by enemies and you trust your neighbors to protect you Putin and Putin sold you out a bunch of fool people speaking of genocide will not fix anything the genocide is done people are dead what about tomorrow genocide are you ready no you are not I don't like silly talk you can cry like a widow from now until the next century who care so either you fix what happened so it will never happen again or you are just a stupid fool who you can do nothing but crying for what will happen yesterday and happen tomorrow So if you want to fix the situation, you can remember the genocide. But what about the genocide will happen tomorrow? Hmm? You cannot even change your president who lost all the war. I mean, anyone have dignity. This donkey, this president of Armenia, if he is a donkey, he have shame to leave. I mean, the guy he lost every day, he is losing. Putin call him come here like a rabbit he come like a dog he licked the feet of Putin you brought shame to yourself any nation trust other nations for their protection they are a nation of fools it doesn't matter who they are official fool and they, uh, they will not stop killing you because there is no reason to stop killing you you are weak they will keep taking your land why not <laughs> why not ethic <laughs> so I know you know some people live in a fantasy you know world and they think fantasy will come to be true you know they think if they cry we pray you know and things will be fixed tomorrow by praying no your prayer is empty the Lord <coughs> the Lord said faith without work is a dead faith this is what he taught the disciples all right <laughs> No, no, don't learn from Israel. Israel is, is, is not doing good. Israel is a stupid nation too. But for sure, there's a huge difference between Iran, between Armenia and Israel. But Israeli are a very stupid people. Extremely stupid. You see what happened when you became strong. You relax. You go to sleep. You think now I'm powerful. Who is this ant? This ant will bite me? Huh. Yeah. So the Israeli, they went into sleep. They became hippies. They are busy with the homosexual gay festival, the biggest festival in the world. They have festival a few meters away from Gaza. All of them, they are so-called peace activists. And 90% are, are the, of them homosexual. The enemy is waiting, preparing, and the fools are dancing. 
So there is no too much difference between what happened to Armenia a few months ago and what happened to Israel a few months ago. Those things would happen to any foolish nation. Even if you are strong, when your children become hippies, stay away from God. They are so good in going naked in the beach. They are so good in being in the bar. They are so good in dancing, but they are not so good in stopping the aggression of your enemy. You are doomed. Israeli now have no leaders. All the leaders are potatoes, politicians, corrupt. This is why this war will never be won until you get rid of all the garbage you have. Look, the Iranian, they hit them with hundreds of missiles. What they did? A joke. Because all the calculation is about winning election. They don't care really for victory of their nation. They, you don't, they don't have leaders. So to make it simple, victory need victorious people. The one who make victory is the people. Until you have those, there is no victory for you but shame. As simple as that. Uh, Netanyahu is weak right now. Netanyahu is a disaster all the time. I mean, he is the one who allowed the money of Qatar to come to them. He is the one who support Hamas in Syria. I mean, are you blind? This guy is a disaster sick. Stupid. He repeat the same mistakes the American they did. They fed the dog Osama bin Laden. Ah, we feed the dog so he can bite our neighbor. And the dog came back to bite them. It is the Israeli who made Hamas come to existence. Yes, they wanted to fight Yasser Arafat. They said, okay, let us divide them. Let us take the sheikh from jail and make him look like a hero. The founder of Hamas. And this is exactly what happened. Hamas took over. And now the Israeli they wish that there is no Hamas. And now they wish they want to finish Hamas. <laughs> so you feed the beast until he grow. And then you want to kill the beast? What a foolish strategic leaders. <laughs> garbage in, garbage out, my friends. This is why we Indians support Israel. No, Indians don't support Israel because they are convinced Israel is bad. I mean, is, is, is good. But because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, we know the agenda. This is nothing, nothing personal and nothing about love. As simple as that. Both of you are fighting the same kind of, you know, garbage. So because now you find there is a there is economy reasoning, there is military reasoning, there is a political reasoning. So that make you go closer, but not because you are really close to them. And this kind of a closer can work because this is about realistic stuff, not about emotion. Uh... No, we will not go to the score now. You know, we will see. All right, guys. I will go live soon in Ramble. If you like to join us for the free, the link is there. And as I explained, I will not go live here playing the video because I'm sure they will flag it. In Ramble, they can flag it, but Ramble will not listen to them because we have the right to do so. Uh... And we will show you how those Muslims, they always lie when they try to promote an idea. Yeah, as soon as I close here, we will be in Ramble. The Ramble, it's why I'm posting the link. 
The link is in the info the link in the chat. And by the way, you don't have to go there. I mean, it's up to you. Stay here. Don't go anywhere, you know, but I will be live only there. All right. You know, I know, I know that people, they get upset. What is Ramble? Click at the link, you will know what it is. It's the same as YouTube. People they get upset from my tough answers, but this is this is how you share the truth. Bringing chairs and you know, let us remember the genocide of the Armenian. That is a foolish act. Very foolish. What about instead of wasting our time talking about it? We spend our time building an army so the genocide will never happen again. Until now you have no army. What you learn? Nothing. Armenians are the most smart people in the world. The Sikhoi, the all the airplanes of, of the of the Russian, is made by Armenians. Yet you cannot make a drone? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And then the stupid Turkish Erdogan, he take you by drones? Warning, you defeat yourself, nobody defeat you. Weakness bring predators. Take that from me. Weakness attract predators. Not the opposite. Strong army make peace. Weak army bring war. Your nation will flourish when you have a strong army. Your nation will be tortured when you don't. Always there is someone he wished to have what you have in your hand. And he is evil. And if he can't take it, why not? Who is going to stop him? Right? Uh, like, you know, when China took the Tibet... But the Tibet, they did nothing wrong to China. They are a not aggressive nation. They have no war with nobody. Uh, but there is a problem. Weak. They take them for a snack. China now control a lot of countries. They have nothing to do with China. They are not a China land. Just because they are weak. But the China itself was controlled by Japanese not long time ago. So, when China was weak, was eaten by the Japanese. When China became stronger, well, China is not an ethical country. Like, you know, they make, a, they make tons of movies about what the Japanese did to them. You don't see what you are doing now to other nations? They are even going after the Philippines. They want to take islands from them. Why they are going after the Philippines? Not America, because Philippines is a weak country. Your weakness is the reason. It's like the wolf. Look for for the weak sheep. Not there is many sheep, but the one who cannot run, the one don't have horn, the one who cannot defend itself, is the one we look for. The small, the young, the sick. Well, I don't mind if they have Sharia in Canada. You see, if the Muslim took over a country, I believe every country 
need to be punished when they go away from God. So if Islam is the punishment, why not? Let them be punished. I want to cry for anyone. You know. I mean, you are the one who brought them. You brought millions of them. And you keep erecting the same government. So do you blame Muslims? No. Good for them. And bad for you. You will live like a dog under their feet. Just wait. So, I don't cry for any nations who they are destroying themselves. I believe everyone get what he deserves. Everyone, even the Arab Christians, when they've been defeated by Muslims, they got what they deserve. They did not stand for their land. They did not stand for their right. They listened to their, 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 their false priest. Oh, Jesus taught us peace. Self-defeated. They quote from the Bible only what make them, give them a reason not to go to war. <clears throat> uh, however, like countries like Canada, I mean, every day there's tens of thousands of Mexicans coming to Canada. So Muslims will still stay minority, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter how many they come, really, because South America is a flooding North America with migrants. So at the end of the day, I believe Muslims will stay minority in everywhere in, in America. But anyway, as, as again, I don't cry for any nation. If this has happened, because this is what they wanted. If you bring them, you open the door for them, and then they take over, okay. They did not invade you, no. You invite them, you give them papers. You welcome them. Don't blame them. <clears throat> All right. So we will go live in, in, in Ramble. Uh, what the time to go live? Let me check. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, it's going to be... What time? All right. Well, it's going to be one hour from now. We will be in Ramble. So if you care to join in one hour, feel free. All right? About 15 minutes, actually, from now. About 3, uh, 3 p.m. my time. All right? So, guys, see you soon there. And let us debunk those Abduls. Share the link with your friends. And let us see how we expose their lies and this is what is important we are at war with the devil the devil is not only Muhammad if you go right now and see who they are against supporting Hamas those are your children the atheist the one who graduated from filthy scumbag universities like Berkeley Chicago etc Colombia those became those universities become the nest of stupidity and brainwashing and the funny just to show you how funny life is jews they were number one donators to those garbage universities you believe it jews and now the jews are crying they are teaching hate against us you harvest what you seeded. Stupid. The same as the American when they support Osama bin Laden. The same when Israel, they supported Hamas and they supported Muslim Brotherhood in Syria. All of them, they are stupid and they repeat the same stupid mistake. None of them understand until now that this religion is evil and if they use you today because you are stupid those who support Hamas from those universities the gays and the lesbian if you go to Gaza you will be dead in two seconds they will slaughter you 
Can you put your gay flag in Gaza? No. Try it. I challenge you. <laughs> Stupid idiots. What we can say. Anyway, join us on Rumble. The link is there. And see you soon. God bless you. Take care. 15 minutes from now.